Hello everybody, uh, we have Champions Cup Round 3, uh, winner of this goes into the quarterfinals, uh, we've got the Irish Troublemakers, also known Mega Bonobo, he's got his undead team uh, facing off against Fanjo and his Chaos Dwarfs, uh, so undead, we've got a guard, stand firm, grab mummy, we've got a block, guard, stand firm, mummy, We've got a blodge guard, stand firm white, strength four white with nothing else. Uh, rackle, uh, not rackle. Blodge, sure hands, tackle ghoul, wrestle ghoul, a DP with kick, and uh, another DP. Blodge ghoul, guard zombie, block zombie, free bench. Not the best undead team you've ever seen. Um, not the worst, that's for sure, but it uh, could do with a few more skills. We've got two Claw Mighty Chorfs with guards, uh, just a guard one, guard stand firm, guards of oh, three Claw Mighty Chorfs, and this one with no guards. We've got a Super Hobo, we've got Agi 4, Movement 7, Sure Hands, Block Tackle, and then he's got a Block Ball uh, with Break Tackle and Dodge, and he's got another Blodge one with Break Tackle and Tackle Mighty Blow. Uh, he has also got two hobos on the bench. There is a wizard in play for Mega Bonobo. He's got three rerolls and he's also got a bribe. And then Fanjo's just got three rerolls. Um, so, yeah. Chorfs. <laughs> Chorfs won the toss and have decided to receive, which is uh, fair enough. <coughs> Significant plastic surgery, wow. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, who did Fan Fanjo knocked out Kimroth in the last round. Kimroth's pro elves and uh, Mega Bonobo knocked out Justicium in the last round. As uh, like Justicium's necromantic, that is sweltering heat. So that is probably my least favourite kickoff event in the game, um, just because it can swig it. Uh, it can swing a game like so dramatically. So basically, at the end of this drive. Um, there is going to be a roll for every player, and if, on the roll of a one, they will be too hot to play Blood Bowl, and they will be sat in the uh, reserve bench with a exclamation mark over their heads. Um, it can be incredibly swingy. Um, I mean, it might do nothing. It might absolutely do nothing. Like it, it could just remove one player, which is a zombie, and it's it doesn't matter at all. But it can also remove five players on one team and no players on the other team and make it an incredibly uncompetitive game of Blood Bowl. So hopefully it's not one of the major ones. So there is a, a KO there for uh, Fanjo on the LOS hits. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Cruise. Hello Crucifer mate, I hope your game went well. I will be uh, showing it later, so uh, spoilers or a no-no please. <laughs> but yeah, hello mate, how you doing? Thanks for the raids. Uh, we are watching Fanjo versus Mega Bonobo. These guys are right on the opposite end of the bracket from you. So these guys are in the top bracket. Uh, I think the winner of this actually goes on to play Bright's Kemri. Uh, if I am... Yeah, so the winner of this will take on the Kemri team that we just saw. Got P7 nil, yeah. Uh, so was there, was there wasn't anything there, was there? No. So little push on a chorf there. Oh, we got a stun. We got a stun on the claw. We got to punch this mummy. I'm, I'm take, or maybe this mummy. Yeah, he's gonna punch this mummy. It is block and stand firm, so. He'll probably have to put a reroll into this if it is a 1 in 9. Oh no. He's not punching it. Or he's going to punch from here. So just making the ball safe. I'm guessing he's going to... Gets the pow. This is a huge pow. Very scary one for Mega Bonobo. The Kemri team looks all right. It's not the it's not the best Kemri team you've ever seen. It's not the worst Kemri team. Um, it looks all right. Bright's a great coach. Um, he got through it pretty comfortably, to be honest, despite actually getting quite bashed up. 
he got pretty bashed up in the game, but he, he like he looks like he played it solid. I think he played it the better of the two. He clicked chore, clicked win, and won. <laughs> Alright, so in comes the uh, tackle hit on the ball. I'm guessing we're setting up some kind of foul. Guess you have got to knock this down. And that is the dirty player as well, so... I don't know if we are going to see a foul here, to be honest. Although it is a pretty nice foul. So, just shuffling over... Looking forward to see Kemri in the finals. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think Bright is probably one of my favourites like from the top half of the bracket, to be fair. Uh, does a ghoul foul. Rowdy as hell. He has got a, he has got a bribe before uh, we say he's completely mental. Does get a stun for the, the foul. No bribe used as well, which is decent. Uh, and it looks like we're just going to switch up the sides here on the play. Is there a dirty player on this hobo? There is a dirty player. I wonder if he's going to foul the mummy. I'm assuming he will. So pushing forwards. Ball centre. The only thing I worry about this is... Okay, I was going to say this guy is kind of exposed. So I'd be knocking this down and fouling this. But maybe he's just going to foul the ball again with Dirty Player this time. Uh, in comes the foul on the mummy. So he gets the armor break, just a stun. So Mega Bonobo will be happy with that. So he's going to punch the hobo. Gets the pow. This is Strength 4 Wrestle Frenzy, the weirdest hobo in Chalice. <laughs> He is Kaz. He's apoed it. He's apoed the hobo. Uh, I'm not sure why. I hope he doesn't regret that later on. So really showing a lot of love for the uh, strength for frenzy. And it was MNG as well. Yeah, it's uh, in my opinion. In my opinion, that was a pretty terrible apo. Yeah, that was a, like, in my humble opinion, um, <laughs> it was a, it was a pretty, <laughs> pretty horrific, what was that? <laughs> Did he just GFI? He just GFI the zombie. What is, <laughs> what is going on? What? <laughs> that was hilarious. And he... He burnt the five. <laughs> he burnt the five, or he would have. Oh no, it would have been a four and a one on the injury. Uh, so yeah, Fanjo like really pushing up, like quite happy. I would have thought, right? I would have thought, being the Chorfs, like this is great for the undead. Like they want to kind of disengage, let them score. They've got the wizards. Like the Chorfs really need to do some like punching. They really need to start. Like, they're there to kill stuff, right? And by doing this, you're not killing stuff. I guess the mummy foul is massive there. That makes the armor break just a stun. This mummy is, like, a legend, by the way. Like, my, my mummies would be dead by now. <laughs> they would literally be dead by now. We just foul the ball and skip turn, right? Foul the ball, skip turn. I don't think there's really much to do here, is there? It might punch a chorf. Follows it. Oh, I guess he wants to tag the dirty player to stop the mummy fouls. Oh, he hasn't got a bribe anymore, has he? He used the bribe on that last one. He's still fouling it, though. Yeah, and this is the thing. He separated his team, like the ball and the team. So, like, this, this battle down here is going to swing heavily in... Oh, there's the Kaz. There's no Apo for this either, is there? He's, he's used his Apo on a goddamn Hobgoblin. And now he's lost his Bull Centaur. Which just seems horrific. Absolutely horrific. And this battle is going to like swing into uh, the Undead's favour relatively quickly. So, oh, he's chaining out the Dirty Player. 
gets the KO there. Are we gonna are we gonna foul this mummy again? I I'm looks like we are. I know, it's just like that hobo, it's like strength, it's just bloat, <laughs> it's just bloat, it's like a meme hobo, strength for wrestle frenzy, it's like, it seems like it's more of a pain in the ass than a player, like it's a shame that you roll the strength after you get the wrestle, like and I know, I know you lot might feel differently, but I, I think I, I would actually ignore the strength on a wrestle player, I don't know. I'd be tempted to ignore it because it's incredibly bloaty for an AV7 player. Like, if it had block, then it's uh, great. Very useful, yeah. I don't know, like, you expect him to die, right? So take the skill, but let him die when he dies. And there's only MNG as well, which makes the Apo 50 50, which makes it even more questionable. The problem is that he's the, that hobo has gone at the cost of his ball centaur. Which is probably the most significant thing in this half so far is the fact that the ball centaur is not on the pitch. And there is a wizard for undead. Yeah, the, the, yeah, exactly. He appos it when the ball is just lying on the floor. Surrounded by players and a dirty player. <laughs> Which is uh, not always a good time, is it? Yeah, see, this is what I was expecting more of the chores to do from the start of the drive. Is like base up and have a bit of a route. You got the guard advantage. You got the claw advantage. Like you want to maximise the blocks. Like he kind of like by running up here, he kind of separated his team and then allowed a ball centaur to get picked off. And I'm surprised he left the ball centaur out as well. Like he left the ball centaur out a square ahead of the chorf. I thought he should have. Uh, why is this switched view by the way? I thought he should have like tucked it back in, which was a bit weird. And then Swelter in Heat, just quietly, there is Swelter in Heat. So, Chorf's are already missing a ball centaur. Swelter in Heat could quite easily take the other one out. And then this Chorf, like, this Chorf team looks horrendous without any ball centaurs. I mean, it could also... Oh, man. That is a dead Claw Mighty, which also gives Mega Bonobo a, uh, a zombie as well. That's horrendous. Uh, that's really, really bad for Fanjo. So we capped on five chorfs, one ball, and a few hobos. That was a huge removal. Absolutely huge. Yeah, it does suck. It completely sucks. And like Sweltering Heat has the ability just to completely kill this game, even if he goes 1 0 up. Uh, just a push there. Puts the reroll in. Just a push. Why do you stand firm there? I guess he wants to keep this guy on the mummy. Alright, so just shielding off the ball. So we're going to punch another couple of chorfs, probably foul, fix skull. And we're going to foul this chorf as well, gets the knockdown. This is a scary foul. Super scary foul to be fair. Gets him. Just a stun. Wow. Alright, so eight turn drive. I think you'd definitely be happier if you was uh, Mega Bonobo at the uh, state of this one. Block dice have been absolutely terrible for Fanjo as well. Yeah, random kill here. Yeah. More foul player, yeah. It's basically his win condition is just like fouling uh, as much as he can. Like, it's going to be harder. Like, chorfs tend to be like a lot harder. Hello, uh, Larissian. 
Uh, Chores tend to be a lot harder to score against. Like, but the fact is, he's only got the one ball centaur, which is like pretty disappointing for uh, Panjo. And uh, the first heat roll, we lose Shemp for, but he's guaranteed to come back, and the Chores lose nothing. Just need to blow my notes. Is he going? It looks like he's going for the one turner here. Yeah, he's got grab as well. I don't know why he's put all three together here. Uh, there is tackle everywhere though. I don't know why he's put all three together. High kick. So he's going to punch this one out. Gonna hit this one. What's he done here? I'm. He's not even going for it. That was just weird. That was a little bit weird. Yeah, it is a long shot. It is a long shot. And especially with the ghouls not having regen, it's kind of scary. Here we go. Chorf getting fouled. With DP. Well, we'll know, we'll know how deadly this is going to be, depending on how long his run-up is. Yeah, he's, he's doing alright, isn't he? <coughs> he's doing alright so far. No run up, no run up. Oh, just a stun. I saw a one there, so someone's not coming back. Swelter in heat, ungurn. So I'm guessing that's Fanjo's player. So he loses his ball carrier hobo, and he loses a hobo. He only had, what, three, six, he's down to nine. We lose our ball carrier. A DP and a zombie. So undead are at ten, I think there. Oh no. Still at eleven. Still at eleven. Yeah, the ball carrier sucks. I mean, he has got like a blodge goal, which will do the job. If that's a touchback. That's an absolute dream. <laughs> and like I say, he's only got one ball centre, which is like extremely less intimidating than uh, two ball centres. <laughs> Especially considering this one was the uh, the better one of the two as well. With tackle, this one hasn't got tackle. This one is also niggled. Holy moly! Yeah, I didn't realise this ball centaur's also niggled. Alright, so it does get a power on the free dice. Just a push. Push into a follow up hit. Wonder which one he's going to foul. Guessing it's the stand firm. Ball doesn't bounce out. He's going to foul the guard. That makes the pick up. So he's just going to go for the guard one. Just a stun there as well. This is looking, it's already looking pretty rough. No armor break there. Right. 
I was gonna say, like, you, I don't know if you can. There isn't really any tackle, that's the thing though. This undead team has like no tackle, except for the ball carrier who's taken out by the heat. That's uh, an interesting spot. <clears throat> so you're just gonna blitz it for the. I'm just gonna go wrestle. Is he gonna G if I foul this? Oh, that was uh. Oh, I want to G if I. I forgot the power. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get this ball from here. Just gonna go for the hobo. That uh, for the ghoul. I mean, if you're gonna do that blitz, I don't hate chaining the stand firm onto the ball. You could have just put the hobo there, blitzed here, pushed the stand firm onto here. I mean, you got both down anyway, so it didn't really matter. Yeah, the undead have kind of managed to uh, get themselves caught up on a lot of chores here. Not where they want it. They had it like pretty easily, and like now they're in a little bit of trouble here. That armor break does help. Rolls the pal. If this ball goes, oh, it doesn't break armor. Just a stun. You foul it. <laughs> I was just trying to see if he'd left it on with this, but he, he has it. Well, yeah, it's like a four. Well, that'd be a four plus four plus double GFI two D with wrestle. There's a dead zombie, and that's Chu. Was that Chu Blanc? Has he just killed? He's just killed the same guy twice in the same game. <laughs> so. Uh, the regens as well. So, uh, Chu Blanc has died twice in this game. Which is hilarious. <clears throat> so, note to self. Don't name anyone Chu Blanc on your team. <laughs> Hello, uh, Poopy. How's it going, mate? See, look, like, this, the Chorfs have kind of stabilised here. And there's quite a bit of pressure on uh, Mega Bonobo. The only problem is, is he's got no sweeper apart from this hobo here. So he's got no real way of reliably stopping the potato. Oh, Chu Blanc is uh, extremely mortal. <laughs> Chu Blanc is uh, extremely mortal, Zaz. He's, uh, <laughs> he's dead right there. Oh, good to hear it. <laughs> Poopy, mate. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> I, it's, they, it's always scary when kids just don't or work properly, isn't it? It's just... Yeah. Babies, man. I don't miss babies. Yeah, it will be. It would be. You'd be grumpy, wouldn't you? Alright. Oh, so he's not fouling him. He's fouling the stand firm. Gets sent off. That's a snake. I feel like Fanjo's in a... 
okay position here. He needs to get this ball like back and in sweeper mode. There's the wrestle, that's disappointing. The stun there is pretty harsh. I guess with the mummies both being on their feet now, it's actually much better for uh, Mega Bonobo. Gets a knockdown. Is he just going to come? Yeah, and the stun as well. Just to push the. Surprised he took this. Like, I mean, I'm surprised he put the ball in to take that hit. Like, I would have been tempted to, like, bring the ball down here. The stun on the stand firm, yeah. It's a bit tricky. It's not easy. But yeah, if he gets the knock down here. He's still got four turns yet. Armor break there would be massive. Doesn't get the armor break. Gets a knockdown. Faces up the DP. <coughs> yeah, he looks alright now. He does look alright now. Which is why I just don't know why this ball centre isn't like down here. Oh man. And like where he repositioned it, like because of this like zombie on the floor here and this guy here, like he actually trapped himself. When he he could have just been he could have just been stood here, and like the white would have been in there, and then he would have had to do something. Like this guy was on the floor, it would have been like triple GFI, like double GFIs. You got break tackle. I know it's you've not got tackle and stuff. Yeah, huge stub skull. Yeah, no, like, one re-roll left. There's still swel sweltering heat in the game as well. There is a wizard as well. It's just invisible. I'm pretty sure there's still a wizard. It's just invisible. You can't see it. Like, these uh, inducements bug out from time to time. Trying to see if he could have chains. He might have been able to do it. I don't know, he's not really got anyone around the back, is he? That's the thing. Yeah, here's the wizard. He hit the hobo. He hit the hobo. It KOs him. It's double G if I had to score. Puts it in. Two turn for the Chorfs. Let's see what the Swelter in Heat does. <laughs> so it's a mummy out. And it's a claw chorf out. But this is a short drive. And it's his blodgical out. Doesn't get the KO back. Neither of them get the KO back. But yeah, like you say, it's only <coughs> only one reroll for the chorfs. And uh, it does look set for overtime. It does look set for overtime, to be fair. Like, chorfs are not very 
skilled in the arts of two turning. The one good news about like, the one good thing about the mummy being out now is that he's guaranteed to come back for the next drive. Yeah, sweltering heat hasn't been too bad so far. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my cloaking. Good night. Are you going to bed? Good night, mate. Throwing rock. Just a stun. It's a. Uh, it's deep-ish. It's deep enough. And it's on the awkward sides. See, this guy is back here to pick the ball up. I guess like you can throw it with him, but I think I'd be tempted to pick up with a. Uh, crappy hobo have this guy up on the halfway line so that's the scoring threat no real way of protecting this it's two scoring threats could be a long bomb So he's, he's in range to be based. I guess we're blitzing the hobo. Obviously he's edge free, so it makes sense to blitz him over the ball. Just a good push. It's a follow up here. <laughs> Even you can't answer the question, that's hilarious. Okay, it's a knockdown. I mean, that's pretty scary though, right? <laughs> that is pretty scary. Yeah. So, it's ball on nothing. What's he doing? Yeah. He break tackling out here. Yeah, and then all the GFIs. And then he's got a hand off to this DP. I'll just throw it from my Oh my god. There's only a four plus because he's actually Oh my god, that was the reroll as well. Wow, that was close. Yeah, it's been a decent game, mate. I can't believe he appoed the Hobgoblin. That was mental. Yeah, I know you got to re-roll that. It's a 50-50 just to win the game, yeah. <clears throat> it's just because it's uh, overtime, isn't it? It's just like he's got no re-rolls for overtime. I would 100% re-roll that. I can't believe that was only a 4-plus pass, to be fair. I felt like it was miles away. That was 75% to win it. Well, from the moment he like, made the pass, that's pretty unlucky. And we're missing a ball centaur. So we're missing a ball centaur and we're missing a chorf. And we're missing a DP. So it does look like um, chorfs win the toss. Yeah, they choose to receive. He's got four chorfs and four hobos. Long pass range, yeah. Well, he's actually four as well, isn't he? So, so. But yeah, this looks horrible for Chorce. He's oh, he has got no. He's got nine players, and he's movement seven as well, so he could get further up.
like having no ball centaurs, having four hobos does get a quick snap. What's he gonna do here? Touch back. Ah, oh, look at that kick. <laughs> look at that kick. Unbelievable. I bet I bet his eyes rolled at that one. I bet he was like, oh. <laughs> Gets the pal. Kick is a great skill. Yeah, he's got... Has he even got it on the pitch? It's, it's, it's done by the heat, Zaz. He hasn't even got kick. <laughs> he doesn't even have kick. It's, it's heat. Right, so he's got this hobo in range. He's got this hobo in range. He's got... This one's not in range, though. Sure hands. Wow, that one in nine. And he's got no re-rolls for it, either. It just sucks. So, I'm half expecting this school just to, like, run down... You wrestle this guy down there. Where's he gonna go with? Go with the white, I guess. Oh, he's not even gonna put. <laughs> Just gonna hit this. Surprised there's not more pressure on the ball here. I guess he's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you don't need the skill to send it to the corner, yeah. Alright, how far are we away? He always leaves it right on the edge there. Hang on. He can, he can like... He can just clear this zombie. He can actually 2D the ball as well. It's like double GFI for the white. You punch this and then it's a GFI, like a double GFI for the zombie to 2D the ball. Stand firm, best skill in the game. I'm a football player, I've got a kick in my <laughs> and That wrestle is horrific because now he's not a scoring threat. Uh, he's probably going to get punched over, so he's not going to be a scoring threat. And oh, the push. I mean, the push puts him out of range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so. Oh. Okay, maybe I don't go for the uh, maybe I don't go for the two die here. But he left it on. He definitely left it on. Moving forward, yes. Okay. And punch claw guy, I guess. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so this is looking absolutely dire for uh, Fanjo. Don't even know how I would uh, go about this. I probably wouldn't have just stood him though, to be fair. Oh, regen, regen, luck a dog. <laughs> wow. I mean, it would have been. I think that's just badly hurt anyway, to be fair. Oh, he skulls. Then there's no rerolls, and he KOs himself. Oh my days. That's horrendous. What a way to uh, lose. 
I mean, he allowed himself to be based, right? He did allow himself to be based. When he picked up the ball, he came all over. Like, he could have just ran over here, which is where his players are over here. Like, it, there was double GFI, like, 2D on the ball where it was. That was before. Yeah, so up comes the goal. You got Blitz. Yeah, Blitz this one off. Punch it down, run it round. <laughs> Died twice. Is that Chew Blanc, is it? Nah, it is Chew Blanc, the hero. Well, we know we now know that Chew Blanc plays for both teams. Yeah, this was solid. Like the, uh, I, I felt I felt hard for uh, Fanjo, like in overtime, like with the sweltering heat, like. Imagine this game didn't have sweltering heat. It would have been a lot different, I think. And, uh, like, really unlucky not to make the 4+. plus. I mean, he was lucky to make the the pass. I don't know what 4+. plus. 4+. Plus. Well, what was it? It was red dice, break tackle, GFIs. Yeah, the Apo was horrendous. Apo was yeah the only thing that I thought was just like crazy I didn't understand it alright who are we scoring on who is the right elf 16 SPPs are we going to throw the pass <laughs> are we going to see a pass I was fouling the ball every time yeah he did the right thing mate he did the right thing and he cast him No, I was saying like he just separated, and like you started winning the bash down here because half his team was up here and your whole team was here. It, I'd do that all the time. I'll do that all the time. Like I'll get a drive, I'll run past my opponent, I'll sit up here, and then in the in the four turns that I'm stalling, like my whole team is just getting wiped out down here. That's why it's like I know it's different with like chores and stuff, but. That's why, like, I, I don't push forward that early, like, if I can help it, unless I really fear the matchup. But then, like, the problem with that is you obviously get caught out and then you can't move forward and then you don't score at all. But I'd rather, like, commit to the fight a little bit first. Yeah. There's Fanjo. In with a foul. Makes a six on the dodge. Doesn't break the armour. And that has got to feel like a pretty good touchdown. <laughs> Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. I've not seen this undead kit. That looks pretty sick. Uh, yeah, congratulations, Mr. Uh, Mega Bonobo. Mr. Mega Bonobo. <laughs> Commiserations, Fanjo. Uh, yeah, tough game, decent game. Um, one questionable decision, and that was it. And it? it's a uh, a rough one, a rough one. But yeah, it'll be yourself versus Bright next, so that should be a decent game as well. Kemri.